Hi, welcome to DX Engineering Q&A Wednesday. I'm Rod, K8RR. And I'm Mark, W8BBQ. Today we're talking about grounding because we get the question all the time. We do. How do I connect my grounds for my radio shack and for my coax? So um, there's a few different ways of uh, attaching uh, the lightning protector, but that's the main thing is like, where does the lightning protector go? Does it go out at the antenna? There's some confusion there. Uh, no, it does not. It does not go on the antenna. It does not. Uh, does it go inside the house? Absolutely not. <laughs> you, you don't want to do that. The best place for the ground rod that, that has the connection for the lightning protector is just outside the house. And that's what we have drawn here. The coax would, would run from the antenna either above ground or, or on the ground or underground, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. But then that uh, connection would be to the protector uh, on the ground rod or inside of a, a box next to the ground rod. Mm -hmm. And then... Or the box can be mounted on a ground rod, depending on that. That's right, it could. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a ground rod here. Yep. Um, here's one of the DX engineering uh -huh. UE2P uh, boxes that uh, could be mounted on the outside of the house. Um, and the protector could be mounted inside of there, and the coax can run inside the bottom of the box and then back outside the bottom, or it could be run through uh, feed throughs on the box. Mm -hmm. so, um, that, so that's the main thing is placement. Right, the uh, protector goes just outside, just at the entrance to the house. Um, we also wanted to talk about this great book that really has all the diagrams and explanations about doing this grounding. Right, that'll make you an expert. <clears throat> so right. I have inside the, my house the shack mm -hmm. and I have a, a bus bar behind right. my equipment. Mm -hmm. How do I hook that up to the, to the ground? Well, f first of all, you wanna run each piece of equipment separately to that bus bar. So tin copper braid uh, from each piece of equipment to the copper bus bar or the right. copper strap that, that's behind the equipment. Right. That copper braid is great to use uh, inside but not so much outside. And then from from there, from the bus inside, solid copper strap mm -hmm. should be used to connect to the, the grounding box if you're using one um, and then onto the ground rod or directly to the ground rod. Right. Can it be a separate ground rod? Um, it shouldn't be. It okay. should be the same ground rod. Mm -hmm. And it's even better if the if the radio uh, coax ground is bonded to the AC ground. Mm -hmm. That's uh, what you would find in that book on grounding and bonding for amateur radio. Right. Keep in mind that an RF ground is not the same as a lightning ground necessarily. That's correct. And uh, so, uh, what else can we uh, take care of with this grounding situation? Um, like other protectors, uh, maybe surge protectors could yeah. be connected yeah. to this same Depending the on same the type ground. of antenna, you could also have a um, um, uh, protector for your rotor. Uh, we saw those items too. That's right, um, yeah. You know, it's grounding protect and, uh, protection for your rotor. We have a, a lot of those products at dxengineering.com. Yep. And speaking of which, here's the new catalog. Yay. It's coming to your mailbox soon. Right. And um, the uh, theme is we're all Elmers here at DX Engineering. That's why we have our Elmer badges on. What we do, Q&A Wednesday. That's right. It's being an Elmer. Mm -hmm. And so uh, if you have questions about getting your station set up, you give us a call. Right. If you have questions about uh, anything else as far as ordering off of uh, DX Engineering or how we operate, page 74 of the catalog will virtually answer all of your questions. That's true. Uh, how to order the shipping, the shipping charges, returns, warranties, uh, just about any information you would want to know about how to place an order with us, you can find on page 74. But again, we're always here, so give us a call. Thanks for uh, tuning in, and we'll see you next time. 7-3. Bye.